What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John City 4 and today I will be commenting over possibly one of the worst gameplays and worst teams in Rainbow Six Siege. I'm not even kidding or joking, I'm telling you, this could possibly be one of the worst teams I've ever witnessed here in this game. So here's the gameplay guys, we got ourselves a glass, a uh, twitch, fuse, and a black beard. Not bad for these kinds of maps, you know, we need a little bit of destruction and range at the same time. So over here we got ourselves two wide open garage doors, they're not even covered at all. You can easily blast through them, but Fuse decides to skip the first floor, go up to the second, and use the cluster charge, which I think is not bad. I think it's a good tactic, you know, pretty much trying to take out the ambushes up there. So good job by Fuse, and now he can easily breach those garage doors, but I guess he's going away. Where are you going? And Twitch over here trying to look from long range, Blackbeard, Glass, and Fuse now decides to go around. And you know, he's holding a ballistic shield, so what I would have done is that I would have blasted the, those garage doors. Like, just blast them all. And then I would have pulled out my ballistic shield and pretty much be a distraction. That's what have been that's what that would have been his job easily, right there. But instead he's going all the way around. And now he's gonna try to go through the back side of the basement. And now he's going up against a heavily covered door. Now he's trying to sneak under it. And I'm guessing their best player so far has to be Twitch. He just took down two people right now. Blackbeard looking from long range. Glass. And now Fuse didn't know how to use his breach charge or his cluster charge on the heavy covered door. For reals. <laughs> he didn't know how to use his breach charge. He could have easily gone through the back. What the fuck? So now... These three guys are stuck outside, not knowing how to use the breach charge. You know, Blackbeard over there is holding three breach charges. He hasn't used it yet. Twitch is down. Blackbeard, he's trying to figure out how to go inside. Tries to break down the door. And now he figures out how to use the breach charge. And there he goes. Oh, never mind. He doesn't know how to... Oh, there he goes again. Yes, the hero of the team. Blackbeard trying to go inside. Now he's going to set it off. Looking over the hole, see if anybody comes out. Twitch is dying over there. Glass looking over, over his teammates. Nice job by Glass. Twitch over here, their best player, cannot die. Can't let him die, man. Glass looking over. Nice job by him. And by the way, he's holding the bomb. He is holding the bomb right now. He could easily just set off that thing right there in the hallway. And let the enemy try to get through it to it. Because that, they have long range weapons, so what the hell. And Glass, trying to figure out to go trying to how figure out how, how to go inside. He doesn't go inside. He goes to the second floor. Tries to hunt down the second guy over there in the, in the second floor. He gets killed. Drops the bomb on the first floor. Twitch. Nope. Decides to go and face the enemies. He, she could have easily picked up the bomb and set it off. But no, instead she's gonna go hunt down the enemies, kills the noob, gets killed, Blackbeard is the last one to go, and now it's a 1v1 situation. Blackbeard has the advantage, but instead, a surprise falls on him. Boom. Gets killed by a C4. All of this could have been avoided if Glass would have set off the bomb. Easy win. So there you have it folks, possibly one of the worst teams I've ever witnessed in this game. It could have e they could have easily won like a minute ago, maybe two minutes ago, but instead they made it complicated and killed themselves. 